that's obviously made right as you can tell I've done the hornet there's still a few issues like the the shocks are still hard at the back I've got to slacken them off take the oil out just to give them a bit of free play because I win me having the the third shock conversion in there as you can see it, there's a lot of clearance there um, you're gonna see a video at the end <laughs> yeah just watch the video I think the video will answer itself but everybody is right these tires were off Terry Terry Statham um, Terry 84, 85, or as his new name is, um, RC, RC Ninja, or Ginger Ninja, as we like to call him. Um, he gave me these, and I put them on. It's all ball raced. I've got the converter in there. There's no need to do it. It's obvious what you do. It's the same as putting the normal pinion in. Um, here, yeah, you have two flathead screws. They go in a little indentation that slides and literally you can adjust it I've got the standard 18 teeth in there and it's enough speed with the brushless but I will be doing speed comparisons um, the shell has been cleaned and I found out this stuff works very well for cleaning body shells and um, it's just nail polish remover you put your fingers into uh, because it's got I can't remember the stuff they call it now acetone but with having polycarbonate and glycinerate gliss, gl um, oh, gelatin and glutarate at like a um, oh, it's like a, a very invisible conditioner barrier in the chemical so it doesn't damage your fingers so if it doesn't damage your fingers it won't damage the plastic it's just common knowledge but um, the best thing is it comes with a sponge inside for the women to put the fingernails in and you know clean them but if you pull the sponge out you can use it for rubbing the body shell down and it cleans it and then what I do every time I've used it I'll give it a wash do it again and then I was using a normal kitchen cloth with this type of um, roughness you know and then Really, this really stinks and I just rubbed it into the grooves and it was coming off and then rinsing it so I'll be putting the original shell back on for now because there's a few ideas I'm going to come up with but I will be doing a running video with it and yes it is quite fast and this video is going to show you in a minute but I hope you like the and I wasn't a pro build or anything like that but showing you how good these little beings are and they you know I know the backs up in the air but I actually think when the shells on there and I've also got my man to put in which I had in a couple of cars with the uh, LED dashboard so he'll be going in and I'll be making him fit around the electrics what we have in the electrics is a 12 turn um, sky RC motor. Um, this is I can't remember the name. It's a Sky R. This isn't Sky RC. It's called something else. But it's pretty smart. It's a 60 amp brushless. It goes down to 10 turns. It's got its own caps built on there. I've got Fly Sky in there. No need to waterproof it. It's just going to be a little beach runner. That's it. I'm uh, not the one to take me RCs through the. I know people say, hey, you finish it, take it. No, you do what you do with your RCs, I do it with mine. But the shell's been broke down. The, the shell should have been suffice. Just put it back on, off you go. But I want to clean it up. I want to do a spray job on it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a bright colour on this one, but I've got like orange, red white and black to play with so I'm going to see what colours go around and the per metallic purple on the sh these are just normal rock shock um, socks uh, shock socks off something else so I just put them on there I've got to do the front suspension upgrade but I I'm going to get myself some metal and I'm going to make my own but for now they can stay on um, they can stay on anyway I know the wheels look a bit odd compared to the classics which are these the classic ones these are most probably go back on to um, just play around with the settings for now because these are going to be filled with foam um, I've got to compound them down undercoat them and spray them up the colour they're going and I've got to do the front ones as well so they'll be coming off anyway so um, 
So as soon as the body's done and decaled up, um, I'll be doing a few runs with it on the beach. Everybody who's ever was the one that commented on the beach um, are completely right. It would make a better buggy off on the beach. It'd be fun actually. Um, so it doesn't steer very well, but it's got a bit of puff. I might have to put some weights on the front. Because it, it actually does just lift. There's no there's no ballast there. It's, there's no maybe if I did take the spring out of there and um the third shock in there. But then I'll have that happening and the car will be bouncing around like it's on acid or something. Um see I've got this still to do, which is my old spoiler. And this is what I like about this stuff. I don't know where you get it from. I think we got it mum got it from abroad from America but um, it comes with its own sponge and what I decided to do was I put a work surface down and you know I'm actually it's actually coming off I, all right it's a bit cold on your hands if you can't have detergents on your hands make sure that you wear protective gloves um, some people can they don't get any side effects other people get skin trouble um, I'm alright because I've been brought up in the plant industry, I'm used to getting oil over my hands. And, um, but it comes with this anyway, so you can use this for rubbing the big areas. And it's a good sponge with it being compactive enough. You can, And then what I'm doing now, I'm just aggravating it. And it, it comes off a lot quicker than waiting for brake fluid to kick in because i done this all in an hour. I've done the same type of work with another buggy shell, the one I've got, and it took over a day to break down with this. I'm just breaking it down as we speak, you know, and you can see how much fluid's coming off there, how much um, paint. So, you know, as you can tell, with it, my mum said something about if it's got certain detergents in, it won't break your hands down. She used to use a cleaning fluid that worked for cleaning windows. You can touch the product, it doesn't harm you, but you've got to be understanding that um, a lot of...